Grand Rising, Grand Rising. So I'm making this video. Shout out to my, uh, to the spiritual community. Much love to you. Want to uh, send a uh, positive energy to uh, one of the best to do it, who I watched over the years, uh, Dr. Ray Hagen. You out there, uh, a little sick under the weather. Uh, been missing you for a while, the champ. Uh, watch you every Sunday, so uh, it's a blessing to have you back. We send energy to you. Uh, we also send out a positive energy to our, those that have been doing it, the elders in the game. All right, uh, we should respect always. Okay, that's what this video is about. Respect the elders, respect those that came before us, uh, those that have been on this grind, those that have been. Going through it, many of us going through it. We think, you know, over the years or two, you know, the distancing from your family and uh, uh, being a socialite, uh, somebody that um, probably was a socialite at one point in time that, to being um, somebody that's um, antisocial, uh, not due to themselves, but because people don't want to hear what they got to say. All right. Uh, and people that's had to deal with that is people like Myra Moss and the goddess, you know, and Elsa Howard and uh, the god Ben Clark and Bobby Hemme and Dr. Ray Hagen and uh, Brother C.L. Freeman and Anthony Browder and uh, Panic, uh, him and his lovely uh, lady Khadija, whom I learned a lot from about meditation, art, uh, Serenetta. Uh, Peace out to you. The Grand Sheikh, uh, Taraj Bay, Hannibal Bay, son. Uh, Brother Dick Gregory, all right? One of my answers is gone. Man, listen to him a lot. A lot of people don't realize that uh, that man uh, had a wealth of knowledge, all right? Um, bring me to the video tonight. Uh, watched uh, earlier today, watched uh, the goddess Tina Berry. Black Queen, uh, Nubian Queen, Fly Nubian Queen. Uh, she was expanding on, uh, I think it's Governor uh, Ron DeSantos, that's his name. Um, how he's trying to push a bill down there in Florida. All right, pop it up, what's up? You got that cat down there pushing the bill, talking about uh, Stop Woke. All right, Stop Woke, imagine that. Past couple of days, I took, took a little time off to watch a lot of our uh, older uh, conscious lectures and, um, and a wealth of uh, new lectures that, that are here and permeating. My message is we got to get on code, family. We got to get on code. Yeah. You revert back to uh, a couple of my videos uh, earlier. And uh, when I first started off, I was like, we're not going to get together and sing Kumbaya. Not a whole bunch of goddesses and gods that know who they are and, and all that. It's just not going to happen. But what can happen? If we look at some things uh, in our time that has aspired to, whether me or you like it or not, um, they allowed themselves to get things done to uh, a point where that they got what they wanted as a group and as an individual. All right? I talk about Black Lives Matter. Doesn't matter how they started, purpose, who backed them, all that. We can get in all that. Great. But all I'm talking about is the fact that them people that did Candace Owens and all the other ones that were involved, they were on code. They were on code. Okay. And them staying on code, backing each other, supporting each other and all that, allowed them to get to their agenda. All right. This is what I'm talking about. We need to use that energy, people. We're starting to digress to 
stepping on each other's toes and mad about because this he talking about this or she talking about this wrong or whatever. Uh, people on here with uh, paraphernalia, uh, New York hats and Nike shoes and this and that. We worried about the wrong thing. The message. What makes us a unique race of people is our struggle. Each, every one of us, that where it is. Understand some type of struggle. The struggle is not just a cover, but the struggle is embedded within us. A spiritual one's notice. Because if it wasn't, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing now. We wouldn't be understanding what we understand now. Imagine if Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael, Huey Newton, Bobby Seale, you name it, was able to put their individual agendas and differences aside and look at the bigger picture. Our people are struggling, period. Because why? We don't understand the economic value. We don't understand the education value. And we don't have the structural capacity to put our dreams, our visions. We can't do none of this because we can't even set these little minor smooth, don't even mean nothing, differences aside. But it's the main thing that we talk about as spiritual people that we should be working daily through our meditation, through our yoga, through whatever we do. To keep us open. To keep us elevated. To keep us balanced. To keep us guided by more than this body. Are these two eyes that we call see. This is our time. Now. The older generation, thank you. So much, thank you. I always pay homage to you. But I don't think I listen to no Bobby Hemmett sit out and talk about Myra Moss and Myra Moss sit out and talk about Sarah Netta and, and, and Grand Sheik sitting around talking about Dick Gregory. And all. I, I'm not hearing that from these lectures, these mature lectures. Matter of fact, you hearing some of the same education and same history and same knowledge just told a different way. If you really listen. Because these people were trying to do something bigger than themselves. Young folks, we got to take it out. It ain't about you. This ain't about Sean. This ain't about me no more. I literally can sit up here and tell people I did a little the best I could already. I'm going to build the best life I can. Stop. Some of you already know, in your 20s, your 30s, that's the best you're going to get. <laughs> that's the best you're going to get, man. That's when your knees was right. 
That's when your body was right, tight. You know, your 40, 50, 60 time I'm feeling living my best life. You need to sit down somewhere, man, before you hurt yourself. That ain't me saying don't live your best life. No, 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 no. But don't fool yourself either, though. You didn't mature. Especially if you're a spiritual person to run around and talking about your spirit and all that stuff. Prove it to yourself then. First, we got to prove it to ourselves. Step up with what you're talking about. And the damn thing in this world, this man can show me no more, man. I done lived your facades. I done jumped on your roller coasters. I went around there three, four, five times. And you ain't showing me nothing no more. So now we here. What are we doing? Waking up our generation to come. Because they clearly seeing right out the womb. About 10, 12, 15, these kids already telling you. School ain't teaching me nothing. How you know? Because they can't keep, keep their attention. Society is not giving little black girls and little black boys anything to look forward to anymore. Because them parents are waking up and saying, this shit is fake. This is a facade out here. We got to get on cold. You don't like the way somebody doing their video? Everybody putting their information down there, Gmail, TikTok, uh, 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 Twitter, we all doing it. Hit them on the back. Street to give and give your grievances. But let's don't let's don't do this in front of them. Let's stop giving them the ammo. Going to the Santos out there trying to push stop woke. I wonder why. I wonder how. Because what the foundation has already done, Ben Clark, all y'all down back there, all them people I named. It permeated. It built people like Papa Doug and all the other ones we listened to. Everybody. So as a collective, we should be proud of ourselves. But instead, we're going out now, now shooting us. He's up to move foot. I don't like how this spiritual person talking, and but they got this on and they... Man, stop. We must stop. It don't matter what you do, who you are, what you wear. It's right here. It's that you was gifted to open. Is it the answers of the supreme, the universe said you. Your strength, your heart, your understanding, your delivery, your life will be an example for you to step out on so you can help others wake up to the magnitude you are. So you can be an example, a walking, living example, not a statue, not because you had to die. Because you existed on this earth before anything else. And you back now. To tell that story. Royal family. I say again. Royal family. It's time. It's time we grace this earth and understand, let these people understand. We know where the beginning began. It's her. Queen, goddess of this earth. Creator. Who creates sun. 
whose son turns into the king. In which the king raises the daughter. And once the daughter cycles and grows to be the queen once again. See, when I present this, it comes back to me because I'm listening to Goddess Mother Myra. I see eloquently breaks that down. Allows me to transmit that through my understanding. So that when my net, when I put it out on my little network, where I started to just try to reach one, but man, why 60 something, 70 something, 80 something people them looking at the little, little, little videos I'm making? Because it starts with the foundation of the lecturers who came before me. So then I help close the gap with the network and we connect dots. People, come on, man. Understand our dynamics. Understand what we up against. We ain't got time to fight with each other. It's time to keep, keep getting these messages out. Keep shooting it because I'm telling you, they listening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why DeSantos go do this. That's why soon Governor Abbott going to do the same thing. Arizona going to, you see how yeah, this work? They all going to follow suit. They gonna, man, yeah, yeah, I got woke folks. Yeah, they woke. Woke? Yeah, we woke. So keep putting the message out. Keep putting your effort in. Keep putting your passion in them. Keep looking at all of us. Critique us. We're going to be our greatest critiques. But love on each other, man. Sister. Well, man, leader, goddess, spiritual brothers, let's go. You know what I know. You know who the creator is. Don't play with it no more. We should put our woman up in front of their face because let me tell you something. The one who's so scared of her. The one who knows her dominance. It's the system, baby. It's the system, baby. They know she the most powerful thing on this earth, boy. Don't get it twisted. They know. They know. You know they know. That's why they going through all this abortion bull coin. Because if they can foul up the reproduction system of our black woman, then they know it's only time. They're trying to make it so easy that they can mail birth control, a controlled substance. They're going to mail the birth control to you now? We can kill you, baby? Wow. Wow. So they're going to tell me there's a time that's going to come in this. Maybe my, my, not in my lifetime. But they're going to be able to execute your ass for a crime in your mother. Well, what am I talking about? They almost do that down, don't they? Dallas, Texas. Hmm. 
and vote when we know better. Man, let's step up. Let's do better. That's all this is being asked of us. Take it behind the curtains, your grievances with each other. That's all we asking. Be courteous with each other. Love on each other, man. That's what it's about. Love on each other. Until you see them, they stay in cold. They stay in cold. When they lying, they stay in cold. When they want to go this way, they stay in cold. When they don't want you to have a damn thing, they stay in cold. It's time. It's getting cold. Man. For those young folks that don't know what cold means. Lame in terms. Let's get on the same page. We ain't got to talk about each other all up in front of them. Get on our little chew chat like this. Oh, I don't like how Bobby said this. And wait, who is he? He think he's spiritual. No, 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 no. Let's don't turn what we got into what them buffoonery fools got. Them fools, them celebrities over there that's chasing their dollars through fans only and doing all that crap that they got to do. Just don't do that. You want to make money off of off your lectures? Hey, to be it. Donation. Hey, I don't see why not. You pass the knowledge. You pass it. You saving people's lives. We really helping people be better within themselves. But those who ain't and those who are, we don't need to be arguing about that. The only reason why I get in people's lane is to watch what y'all talking about, see what I can learn. If there's nothing there for me to learn, then I got to let it go. This is what I don't understand about some of y'all. Y'all be talking about y'all spiritual. Hey, I meditate and I let this go. So, no, the hell you don't. No, you don't. You get on here, you get mad about people, this, that, this person, and that, that and then you flip out, and this, you ain't got no control. <laughs> you ain't got no control. You can't control yourself. But yet you and somebody else lane trying to control them. What they say, do, where, think. Ain't this the problem we talking about? Hey, cat daddy, take your leash off my damn neck so I can breathe, so I can feel like what real freedom feel like with thinking about what I want to think about, how I want to think, and what I want to put up in there, what I need to be influenced by. Not what you throwing at me. Come on now. One does not want to be a hypocrite, right? All right. There's folks out there that want to be part of the team. <laughs> Talk to them. They come to me. Same as when our ancestors back in the 60s, 50s. Where would we be without them? The ones that sacrificed their life for slavery to help a slave. I never said that all white people are bad and devils and all that. I can't tell people that. I'll never put that. I'll never spread that bull because that's bull. But I need the understanders to understand that there's two fights, about three fights going on. If you have any common sense, a majority of them folks that walked up in there on January 6th, 
yeah, someone was loosening the screws and just thought it was just, you know, he, he, ha, ha, whatever. But some of them people were providers just like you. Everyday workers just like me and you. Trying to make a living for their families. Trying to figure out why this, the government was turning their back on them. Understanding that me and you got to understand that some of these people used to you know, you got queuing on and all that. We know who you were at one point in time. All right. You the clan. You the ones that was in the these uh, positions of leadership that had the immediate hand on some people down here at the lower level and stuff. All right. So all of a sudden now the money's dried up. You see these rich people up top, the elite, who pulls your plugs, who makes you do what you do. All right. Uh, you seen that they weren't acting savory. All right, started being a disconnect, basically. That's what you got. A disconnect from the elite who controlled the clan and all these other little proud boys in society and stuff, all right? So that elite turned their back on them people. That's what happened. And them people was like, huh, oh, okay. And that's when you get all that QAnon letters and all that, and they talking about Nancy Pelosi, where she live, and all this kind of, you got to understand the dynamics, all right? So I think we all do. So, the, what do we do? You know, we have to come to some understanding. That's what we're talking about. Like, we, we got to get on code so we can understand, all right? There's going to be some, there's a group out there that parallels with us. They ain't the same color, but they got the same struggle. Okay, yeah, they great grandfather and all of them, and some of them have harmed us. But now they on this, this boat like, shoot, we in the same boat as you, black folks. So, do we... Combine this effort against that one? Or do we make a front and we fighting two? I'm a military man. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Sam. I'd say combine with them clowns. I don't mean to call you clowns, but to the point of that, there are some good ones over there. They're over there. I know it. I've worked with them, all right? But in reality, we as black folks got to get on cold first. That's, that's just what I'm saying first. We have to do that. But not take away that there's another group that's going to reach out to us. This is for sure. And there's another group out there that we're going to probably need to reach out to, all right, because it's the same fight, people, it's the same fight, the only thing we're trying to do is get our, our minds, because our, our black minds right now are the ones that are so just like, we, we got our heads in the dirt, we really do, we really do, and, but, what I'm seeing, though, and this is just my personal opinion, maybe you can, you know, leave some comments at the bottom after you see this video. Our young folks, man, every time I get out and as close as our older folks are, you know, I'm 52 and I keep saying that because you'll know, man, our young folks, though, it's a difference. Oh, man, it's a difference. And they hungry. They hungry for the know. They not scared. And they ready. <laughs> so that's how I know there's more young people watching this than older. And I'm so cool with that. Because the old head, you, you, just, yeah, you ain't got too long here. You know what I'm saying? We rolling out. But youngins, youngins going to change. They going to make that difference. I just hope it'll be time before I leave or, you know, right around. It's cool. Whatever we do. But I know that the difference is going to be made sooner than later. That's just what I know. All of us feel that. So knowing that spirituality, my community, my tribe, my loved ones, keep it tight, keep the cold up, man. Hell, I go back, start another video. I'm going to shoot this other video about my vets, though, my vets in the civilian life, because we need to clean some stuff up. It's just suggestions, though, you know. But I always remember this, too, was therapeutic. Love you.